Come on. Oh, Rick, thank you so much for this song because it says to anybody who feels like your life is going nowhere. Like Abraham, don't forget, Abraham goes all of those years of with emptiness and barrenness, and sometimes life feels just like that, but then God has a way of coming through, showing up and showing out and putting a promise upon our lives that's greater than the past that we've been through. And I think that's the first thing I'll say to anybody, regardless of where you have been, what you have been through, God says, I'm more concerned about where you're going than where you've been. I'm more concerned about your possibility than your past. Isn't it good to know your past does not have the last word on you because God is more concerned with where you're going than with where you've been. That's the blessing of Abraham, the blessing of Abraham is always a faith that looks forward instead of tripping on what happened behind you. What's behind you can no longer define you or confine you because you have a faith that looks forward to tomorrow and tomorrow is going to be better than your yesterday. But then finally, and I love this, the blessing of Abraham says to all of us that God is the God of the impossible. Whatever is too hard for you. It's just right for God. God is the God of the impossible. There's nothing too hard for God. There's nothing God can't handle. God can handle your haters. God can handle that a bill. God can handle that debt. Whatever you're going through, God says there's nothing too hard for God to handle. You are the seed of Abraham. Go ahead, grab that blessing, because you are going to receive the blessing of Abraham. I know that's right, Pastor Haynes. Love you. How can you be reached? Oh, love you, Ricky Smiley. Thank you. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, FH Unscripted, and I'm on Facebook. Frederick D. Haynes. Hey, hey, Pastor Haynes, you put the new memberships class online yet? We are working on that just for you, Rick. Oh, Pastor just Haynes, how many, hey, how many years I've been in the new memberships class? <laughs> About 12 now, maybe 15. <laughs> you setting a record, man. You setting a record. Pastor Haynes, we're going to have to have a graduation or something. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I love you, Doc. Love you, Rick. The doctor, <laughs> the one and only Frederick <laughs> Douglas Haynes, senior pastor of Friendship West Missionary <laughs> Baptist Church, Dallas, Texas. All right, seven minutes, seven minutes after the hour, y'all. I got your front page. Front page coming up next. Ricky Smile the Morning Show. News headlines, entertainment, sports. It's the front page on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. All right, y'all. Ricky Smiley the Morning Show. It is ten minutes, ten minutes after the hour. You got your front page. Good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone, and happy Monday. I'm Eva Marcel, and here are your top. Almost 400 Americans were quarantined on a ship because of the coronavirus are now back in the States, but all of them will still be under quarantine in Texas and California for two weeks. At least 14 were found infected, but only the ones not showing symptoms will be allowed to return home. There are now currently over 70,000 cases of the disease and over 1,700 deaths. In other news, people are demanding that Attorney General William Barr resign after recently handing down a very light prison sentence for one of Trump's longtime friends, Roger Stone. A petition was signed by over 1,100 former federal prosecutors and other ex-employees of the Justice Department calling for Barr to step down. He needs to. You think so, Rick? Absolutely. You heard what Mike said. Mike said last week he's just... uh, they do just a lot of stuff that they're doing is inappropriate or whatever. You know, uh, the Justice Department should have no political influence, period, point blank. All righty. Well, in weather news, heavy rains in Mississippi is causing historical floods in and around the state capital of Jackson. Officials have declared a state of emergency and warned that the flood could get worse. And on this day in black history, we celebrate the birthdays of former federal, formal, excuse me. Former football player Jim Brown, co-founder of the Black Panther Party, Huey P. Newton, and basketball great Michael Jordan. Happy birthday. All righty, that was a quick look at your headline news. For more on what's trending, log on to the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.com. What's going on in sports, Rock T? Man, only one thing to talk about today. That's NBA All-Star Weekend. I don't know if you guys got a chance to listen, watch, or heard about it, but Team LeBron beat Team Giannis. 
157 to 155 in an epic fourth quarter. This is probably the best All-Star game in like 25 years, man. They was they was playing like it was the NBA Finals. Both teams playing for charity. Team LeBron won the game. They raised over $400,000 for uh, Chicago Scholars. Team Giannis won $100,000 for After School Matters. Kawhi Leonard was the Kobe Bryant All-Star Game MVP. All-Star Saturday night, the three-point shootout was um, Buddy Hill from the Sacramento Kings. But the dunk contest is what everybody talking about. Yeah. Eric Gordon was robbed, dog. He was really? robbed. Oh, my goodness. Look at him. No disrespect to Derrick Jones with the Miami Heat. He won the dunk contest. But Eric Gordon, man, he jumped over seven foot five inch Taco Fall. He should have got 50 points on that. They was both getting 50 points throughout the entire contest. They scored him 47. He jumped oh, wow. over four seven foot five inch Taco Fall, man. And wow. they scored him 47 points, man. So I like, I, my favorite dunk was the dude when he blew out the birthday cake. Yeah. <laughs> All the dunks was dope, man. Yeah, they was. It dope. was exciting, but I think Aaron Gordon should have won that one right now. Last but not least, other great moments of the NBA All Star Kobe Bryant, the tribute that uh, Magic Johnson gave to him. Jennifer Hudson singing for All We Know was phenomenal. And Common's introduction for both teams, yeah. star lineups, that was phenomenal, man. So, yeah. Um, it is what it is. There it is. In the right. halftime show. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Chance to rap. Chance to rap. Killed it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. He brought out <laughs> Lil Wayne. Yep. I loved it, man. The whole the whole All-Star weekend was phenomenal. There it is, man. Yeah. Yes, sir. I appreciate that, right? Let's take a look at the team. What you got, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday. A beautiful, beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. It was a very sad Valentine's Day for a bunch of Valentines in the city of Atlanta that dined at the Old Lady Gang, the restaurant owned by Kane. Andy Burris and her wonderful husband, Todd Tucker. You all didn't hear the story. They're saying, y'all, that Southwest Atlanta folks were forced, honey, to duck and cover for gunshots over the fire. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? They, they say the girls was ducking for cover, honey, after a gunman opened fire, honey, at the Old Lady Gang restaurant, honey. They say he didn't, um, a guy was just shooting out. They say it was innocent bystander trying to have a nice Valentine's Day, um, Valentine, and they say hundred the people just started. Some guy just started shooting. What? Yes, they started shooting at old lady gang, honey. It was a very sad day, honey. But Candy sent a statement saying, as African American business owners, it has been our goal to invest in our community by bringing jobs, quality dining, and a positive experience to the right. greater Atlanta area. We hope that you know and understand that the acts of violence that occurred recently did not in any way serve as a reflection of old lady gang or its values. Right. She said, um, Burgess also said that they have come our way and we encourage anyone with any information regarding any aspects of this event that occurred to please reach out to law enforcement as soon as possible. That's crazy. It sure is crazy. They say honey, two people got hit and, and uh, some bystanders. Yeah, they know, said three people got hit, but nobody uh, died. Nobody right. is seriously injured at all. And Candy Mama's okay. But Miss, um, yeah, Lady jo- Mama, Mama Joyce, Joyce was okay. Yeah, they yeah. said she was in the kitchen, I think. But, um, <laughs> What else you got, Gary? <laughs> Moving on. In other celebrity news, y'all, honey, back in December, honey, Kalani released a new single featuring Keisha Cole titled All of Me. Well, this week, baby, Kalani released a video and Keisha Cole had nowhere to be found. <laughs> what you laughing at, man? <laughs> baby, Miss Kalani said, you getting all my damn album. <laughs> right. <laughs> baby, Miss Kalani took Keisha Cole off the video and the album. <laughs> Does that mean? Yes, baby. They say, honey, Miss Kalani um, appeared to be subtweeting. They, honey, um, Keisha was subtweeting each other. But they say after the release of the um, All of Me video, they say, honey, it came crystal clear that they didn't like no more. Um, Kalani issue. Crazy how the ones you look up to are down to be looked up to. But when they got to be eye to eye with all hell breaks loose, humble pie tastes good, I promise. And Keisha Cole reached back. Girl, shut the up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> really? Everybody beefing. What's up? I don't know. What? They say beefing for dinner. <laughs> right. I guess. All right, y'all. Give it a, you got a Kahlua today. Kahlua today, y'all, is one of my favorite Kahlua. My Kahlua today, y'all, is puff cakes. On the high end, you say puff cakes. And on the low end, you say beautiful yellow. That's your Kahlua for today. All right, y'all. One time for Gary with the T. All right. Coming up, we got the hot spot. You don't want to miss it. 16 minutes after the hour. Rick Smile, the morning show. Now, y'all got a hilarious prank phone call. Want to hit? Here it go. Ms. White, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. This is Leo Devlin, uh, one of the family counselors. Okay. And um, I was trying to find out in regards that you had just got custody of the nephew there, the boy Eric, correct? Yeah, I don't have custody of him yet. Yes, ma'am. But I know that that's something that you were seeking out, correct? Correct. Yes, ma'am. Well, I had spoken with the family and everything and with the moms. 
and everybody, and they really want to get that boy back over there to them. And I'm just trying to figure out what needs to, what, what, what you and I need to talk about with me acting as a middleman to make that happen because they really need that boy needs to be over there. He don't need to be with you mm-hmm. because we don't want this to go to court or nothing. Okay. When did you talk to his mom? Well, I just they just contacted me like last week, last week about a week and a half ago, and they okay. said that. And they said, from where? Well, I'm calling from the Atlanta office right now, and I just acted as a liaison. Mm-hmm. Now, because what they're saying is that you got to you're brainwashing the boy and turning them against the parents and everything. And see, and that's something that I just don't appreciate because these young minds are so impressionable. And it's important that he's with a parent that really cares about his well-being. Now, I'm not brainwashing nobody, but I'm, let me tell you what to do. I'll just see you in court. Come to court. We have a court date for January. See, right so there. If you knew that much, I'm sure you know about the court date. See, right there. See, that right there. That right there just tells me that your mind just ain't, ain't, ain't correct. My mind isn't correct <laughs> when a person leaves their child behind, sir. Call his mother, and she can tell you what you need to meet. So, I'm trying to arrange a meeting with, with the boy to Talk to the board. That's what my, that's why I'm calling you today to assess the situation, to assess the household in okay, which so you've been. So what do you want to meet with him? Well, I need to I need to talk with him personally. I don't need you in the room. I don't need you around us. Okay, that's fine. So what you want to meet? First off, watch your tone. Who the f you is? You better not call my phone no more. Wait, baby, don't don't curse me. I ain't even cursed you. Yeah, the f up when you call me with me. I say what the f I want to say. Whoever the f you is, liaison. Uh, beat your f- bad f- to come to my f- why, why do you have to curse me, baby? Because I'm just trying to. That's just... why f- you call me early in the morning f- with me, baby. I'm just trying to just just do what's right for the child. What you mean? I ain't gonna be too many more of your bitches either. <laughs> when is a good time? A good time. You ain't made me mad. What you can do is hurry up and put a check in his mailbox. Help me take care of that. The good time was in August. You got a cheap ass phone, baby. <laughs> you got a cheap ass phone, bitch. And whoever told you to call me, they should have told you, bitch. That I ain't rap real tight neither. Well, I tell you who told me to call you. Who told you that? Because I'm f***ing them up for playing with me early in the a.m. They already know I could be toys with. I'm under a whole lot of pressure. Everybody leaving their f***ing kids told me. Ain't nobody can, could assess me. These dumb f- will tell me I can't get them in school. I can't get them in this program. And you will call me in the a.m. told you to call what me. What you friend. hollering at me for? <laughs> Because you call me f- with me, I'm, bad, I'm brainwashing them, I'm mad than a mother. Baby, I love you, baby. baby I love me, you don't even know me. I'm the liaison, baby, I'm just trying to be liaison-ish. You trying to be liaison-ish. Liaison-ish. Where you calling from with your country ass? Baby, what's going on? It's comedian Roy Wood Jr. Oh, my God. Your friend Jamil put us up to prank calling you. I, I, I am so embarrassed. I ain't really like that, but you was like pissing me off. I'll talk to you later. Bye. <laughs> But y'all make sure y'all check out RoyWoodJr.com. Hey, I got your wake-up calls. Get at me, 866-9-R-I-C-K-E-Y. All right, y'all, Rick's Monday Morning Show. Hey, 10 minutes before the top of the hour, y'all. Hey, man, I want to give a shout-out to everybody in Indianapolis last night that came out. To, uh, not last night. Friday night that came out to the Marat Theater. Uh, the Marat Theater was off the chain last night. It was sold out. Uh, it was me, uh, uh, comedian Red Grant, Melanie Camacho, uh, Michael Collier, Ooh. and it was a good ass show. It was funny as hell, and I don't know what got into me, bro. I was on one, rock. Is that what you talking about? You know how I get. Yes, yeah, so it, it be it only happen once or twice a year. Right. I just be on one. <laughs> you just I was go, you go off script. Doing stuff like sitting all on the edge of the stage with my feet dangling, just with the microphone, <laughs> just talking. Love it. And it was some I don't know who this light skinned lady was with long hair, her and her husband. This lady, the lady, the lady was laughing so hard she damn just started attacking me. <laughs> the lady, the lady started hitting me, started beating the stage. I couldn't control it. Dog. I, 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 it was like I forgot who was sitting in the audience. Right. I was just focused on that one lady that was about to have a heart attack. This lady was just crying. So I got this little joke I did off the top of my head, like you know, uh, like when you see some, see, see one of them dudes in their twenties, right, with their pants sagging, they got a hoodie on. And they walking towards you, how you be trying to crawl the street, you almost get hit by a car. Right. So I like I crawl the street and I go all the way to the back part of the stage and walk by the curtain and be walking like I'm far with <laughs> but I kept doing it. Right. <laughs> by that time they were just crying. <laughs> so that was fun. So then I I didn't want to fly from Indianapolis, but I didn't want to fly from Indianapolis to Chicago. I said, Well, let me drive. So we went up, what's that highway? Is that 65 or something, whatever the highway? 70 went up highway 70 right snow on the ground i never seen windmills that big in my life it was yeah. scary yeah not the small windmills right big windmills like you walking you going towards one you thinking you're going towards the windmill right but then the, the highway but, but it was just scary and the wind was blowing 
So all of those big, it was hundreds and hundreds of windmills were just turning. And then I got to Chicago. Mm-hmm. It was All Star Weekend. I was gonna uh, bake a turkey. I was gonna bake, uh, you know, bake something for my aunt, but I couldn't find a turkey baster nowhere. And I remember it was All Star Weekend, so I was like, "Well, forget that." So uh, really? We went out to eat. I got that. <laughs> What's up? Get, it up? Get out of bed. The Ricky Smiley Morning. The Ricky Smiley Morning Show. <laughs> The time right now is four minutes. Four minutes after the hour. Time is passing. Are you? Gary, good morning. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Monday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in Celebrity hey, Jerry, mm-hmm. Shout out to Mr. Bernard Green. He wrote that on the board in physical science class. And it said, Time is passing. Are you? Okay. <laughs> and I know you couldn't reply to I that. Didn't, huh? I did not pass this class. He flunked me. <laughs> I figured that one. All right, y'all. Dwayne Wade, honey, and his beautiful wife, Miss Gabrielle Union. They've been married since 24 years old. They have basic couple goals. They said the couple's gone through a rough patch. And, you know, now Dwayne, y'all, is speaking out, y'all. He's telling, you know, he told Gabrielle that he had a child with another woman while they were on a break. Well, now they're saying Wade and Union, you know, honey, they working it out. They said at the time he already had two children with um his other wife, his former wife, and his son, Zaya, 18, and his now daughter, son, Zaya, 12. Well, now they're saying, y'all, that he's a guardian to his nephew, Devon, 18. There's a new document. This is the new thing now. Everybody's doing a documentary. What is that about? I don't know. Well, he's doing a new documentary titled D Wade Life Unexpected. And they're saying, y'all, well, that. Well, you got a lot of content there. You got a son that now. Uh, you know, identifies as, as, as a girl, and yeah. you got an eighteen-year nephew. You got you got uh, uh, two kids in your, from your previous marriage, and mm. then you have the one that you preferred referred to as you know the baby that he had when they broke up. Yeah, that's Xavier. Uh, so, so he spent. I don't know. Do, do Xavier ever be with them? I'll never um, see. I don't hardly see Xavier done. Xavier is six years old now. He had Xavier um, with um, a basketball wife, saw so Asia Matarian. Or yeah. And um, he's six years old. That's the son, Xavier. But my thing is, he's saying that Gabriel is doing great, and he revealed in the document. He said, I had a child with someone else, and I had to tell her. He said, hardest thing I've ever had to do is man up and tell Gabrielle mm. you that I've had a child with somebody else. He said, I couldn't sleep. I wasn't even eating. Oh, oh I'm sure. He lying. He was doing what? all that. What do you mean? He what was do doing mean? all that at Asia's house. He no, he sleeping. had to finally tell. He had to confess, Gary, right. and that confession was difficult. But he had to come clean, and he did. Yeah, I mean, whatever, child, honey. And Gabrielle took him. But now, in another, um, um well, the way, well, aren't you glad that she took him back? Because look at their relationship now. Sometimes yeah. forgiveness is wonderful. And if you would have forgave uh, your ex, you probably would still be with it. Well, no, but I did. And you were yeah. alone for Valentine's Day. Because you don't know how to let things go. I know, and I'm working on it. you have to that. learn how to stop. You, you, you go to church every Sunday, and you need to learn how to stop holding grudges. Is the holding grudges bad? Yeah, yes, very bad. It, yes, you it got to let distra- go. Well, not hold the grudge, then, but the, I mean, I can forgive, but I don't have to forgive. Yeah, but let go and let God. Well, I let God. He told me to let go, but still, I just held on a little longer. <laughs> but anyway, child, <laughs> moving on, honey. <laughs> In other Dwayne news, y'all. Now his um one of his uh, friends, honey Van Jones, is speaking out too, saying that it's, that Dwayne Wade is setting a good example for parents to come with kids like Zaya. He said, honey, that uh, Van said that is a brave thing to do, and he said it's going to be a ripple effect, a ripple effect, and more parents are going to do that now. So what? congratulations, honey, to um Van and Dwayne. All right, another celebrity news, y'all. Let's continue to pray for Lamar Odom. Now I um I'm going to call Lamar and his beautiful girlfriend, honey Sabrina, to find out if this is true. But it's being reported, y'all, that um Sabrina is abusing Lamar. They're saying that uh, Sabrina, they're saying what? That yeah. Sabrina, they say, honey, she's a life coach, and they're saying, y'all, that his daughter, his daughter Destiny, um, realized, let the cat out the bag, saying that um, Sabrina may be abusing Lamar and stuff. Because Sabrina a, abusing Lamar. Yeah, had a, he had a bust lip and a bust mouth and whatever. But they're saying, though, that, you know, Sabrina, and I love her dealing. I, I know this, I mean, you know, but they say she uh, went to jail because she beat her first husband. So. 
That's true. Sure. But can a woman be the man? Absolutely. Yeah, a woman really? can be the man. Yeah. And and think about it. Uh, and you have daughters, grown but young daughters. Sitting right here. Exactly. The Asian building. The essence in the building, excuse me. But think about it. If the essence went online and said that somebody, her, her dad's girlfriend, was hitting her dad, you would believe that. What child goes on Instagram and says that the woman is beating their father that is so embarrassing. Yeah. You won't do that and unless I, it's true. And I bet them slaps and little punches be hurting. She looks strong. Yeah, but chick. Sabrina's short chick. and he way up there tall. Yeah, so. but, but I mean, just imagine getting attacked by a little person. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> see, see, her attacking Lamar Odom is like ju- Juicy or somebody attacking me. Yeah. All them little, all them little thumps from the waist on down, they start to hurt if they keep hitting the same spot. <laughs> yes. Why gotta be thumps? Well, we oh. gonna pray, y'all, because I feel so bad for Lamar and Sabrina. <laughs> That's what they sound like. <laughs> <laughs> then it be hitting through the pants. When it be hitting through the pants, it's like. Like, like a little dog, stop. Uh-uh, don't do that. Uh-uh, don't do that. <laughs> the color of the day is one of my favorite colors. My color of the day is puff cakes. On the high end, you say puff cakes. And on the lawn, you say beautiful yellow. That's your color for today. All right, y'all give it up for Gary with the T. All right, y'all, nine. <laughs> nine minutes. Nine minutes after the hour, y'all. Ricky Smiley Morning Show. I got your wake-up calls. Get at me. 8669 All right, tweet at me. Make some noise. Hey! Big shout out to everybody in Philadelphia, 100.3 WRMB. Come on. Hey! I want to give a shout out to my fiance, Nicholas Williams, and my son, Miles Barrett. Love y'all. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Go. Wake up, wake up. This is Carl Lane, one of the founding members of the Legacy Quarter Urban Professional Network. So wake up. Go. It's Calvin Whitaker, founder and CEO of the Dallas Group Picnic Weekend. I want to give a shout out to my son, Ethan, and my daughter, Sydney. There it is. Good morning. Giving a shout out to Mackenzie Clark and my husband, Nate Clark. Wake up. Hey. Come on. Brenda Williams giving a shout out to all our followers of the Robinson Legacy Foundation. Wake up! Good morning. This is Shamika Sweat with Shamika and Co. And I want to send a shout out to all my Shamika and Co. brides. Wake up! Hey, good morning. Wake up! This is Rita Wortham from Rita Wortham Photography. I want to give a shout out to my sons, BJ and Desmond Wortham. Get up! That is y'all make some noise! This is Lisa Perry with Illusions by Lisa Perry and the Perry Group. Wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Come on! <laughs> This is Greg Hill from Horn High School, and I want to say good morning, Jags. Wake up, wake up, wake up. That is, y'all. The same as being brought to you by Ritual. Your school is back, man. Your historically black college or university could win $50,000 for campus upgrades. Learn more and vote for your HBCU at RetoolYourSchool.com. Chicken and Waffle Mix, let's go. Yeah. Hey man, we make our debut this morning. Everybody that's listening to us in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, man, really? on our new station, man, 100.3 WRMB. Hey, Jay Dixon, you know I love you, bro. Jay Dixon, thank you for everything you did for me, bro. You know that. All right, y'all. Uh, Black Tony, where you at? Hey, cuz. Hey, hey, don't kill the mood. Hey, I ain't trying to kill no mood. Shout I've been up since 5 o'clock this morning trying to get to work, shout You what? I've been up since 5 o'clock in the morning trying to get to work, y'all. You been there at 5 o'clock in the morning? I've been up since 5 o'clock in the morning trying to get to work. You know, I, I stayed at my grandma's house last night because she had went to Biloxi to go gambling. Oh. So we got somebody from Human Resources in here uh, that worked for the company that might want to say something to you. Uh, Jada, Black uh, Tony, it's been hey, three up, years hey, since up, you man? reported to work. Where are you today? Today is your last day. Your hey, final look, notice. Hey, look, man, lady, look, listen up. You can hear me good. She can hear you. I can hear you. Let, let, let me tell you what happened. I'm at my grandma's house. My grandma said, boy, you leave out, boy. You cut off all my light. Don't have my light be a sky high. And, shout, and, 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 and I was going to leave out, and I had got some energy this morning out of the refrigerator. But the lights was on in the refrigerator, and I was trying to figure out how to cut it off. <laughs> but every time I open it up, the light's still on. And what now? Because <laughs> the light's still on in the refrigerator. I'm trying to figure out how to cut it off. So every she- time I open up the refrigerator, the light's still on. I ain't finna leave my lights on. So I- <laughs> you, gonna, you gonna excuse him today? No, I don't know if we gonna be able to let him go with that today. But, but I, but me lady, me lady. 
I can't leave my grandma refrigerator light on. I'm trying to figure out how to cut it off. I promise you, I'm trying to get to work. He making a good point. That is true. Okay. So <laughs> bless on it. I promise you, I'm trying to be the. I'm gonna be the. I promise. You. No, don't cry. Don't cry. Let's on it. Clo- I'm clo- just saying, I be trying so hard. I just- <laughs> Close the refrigerator and then stand on the outside and see if you can see the light on. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stand right here. I'm going to close it then. I'm going to call you back in about an hour and see if it come back on. Yeah, go ahead and take the rest of the day off, Let's on. I can take the rest of the day off. Yeah, you yeah, you gonna, you gonna promise you're coming tomorrow? Oh, yeah, but I promise I'm going to come tomorrow. I promise I'm going to be there tomorrow. I can't wait to see your ugly ass tomorrow. <laughs> All right, Ricky, everybody's talking about the All-Star Games this past weekend, honey. I mean, it was a wonderful game, honey. There was a lot of celebrities in the house, honey. But there was one particular celebrity. We called her Miss Monster when she was on The um, the Masked Singer. Her name is Shaka Khan. And baby Miss Shaka Khan gave us a rendition of the national anthem, and she let us have it. Here's how it went. Whoa, say does that. Huh? So Did y'all enjoy that? Oh, oh. She Girl, I, was amazing. For the people for, for the people that didn't hear it. For the for the, for the people that <laughs> and Gary, how it made you feel inside. It made me feel great because this is the little Ricky which I gotta say. They forgot to put the cue cards up to the words. Right. So she just had to scream. <laughs> That's cold. She needs to yes. join. Yes. We got Erica Campbell this morning. Yes. Yes. What did I just walk into? Baby Shaka Khan singing the national anthem. Oh, oh it was an um, a original rendition. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> original, you know what I mean? Being taken creative liberties. That's right. Right, right. right. Yeah. What's your favorite part, you Erica? Say it was what? It was an original ah, rendition. Yes. <laughs> Well, Baby, she looked fabulous. She looked fabulous. She looks amazing. That's not uh, uh, an easy uh, song to sing, y'all. Uh, uh, don't change not. the na- don't do the Gail King. Don't change the narrative. <laughs> <laughs> no ma'am. I was trying to sprinkle uh, uh, some no, positive. Yeah, oh. Black no, ma'am. pants and gloves, honey. She looked amazing. She did oh. look good. Uh-uh, don't change the narrative. Okay. We are not talking about how she what looked. Did I- Cause you I didn't play, you didn't play on the radio how she looked. You play how she sounded. Can we play it one more time? So yeah, Erica, yeah, let's get go. It. Oh. Erica, you got here. Yeah. I love you, Shaka. So strange, baby. Yeah. Did she start at the second verse? Now that was the I won't complain version. Yeah. <laughs> yes. It did have a little. <laughs> it did have a little I won't complain. I can't with you. Yes, honey. Oh, God. Miss Khan did that, baby. Uh, what's the name, Gary? I'm going to make Miss Khan. Miss Khan. Miss Khan. control. Yes, yes honey. Control. She did a great job, y'all. So, I mean, we should love her. We- Shock is a legend. Uh-uh. Yes. It's too late. And, and it's she too late. looks amazing. Because she didn't ruin Black History Month. <laughs> she did. Well, you know, well, moving on. But speaking of Black History Month, y'all, they're saying that there's a bank on the five foot. It's Harriet Tubman debit card design. 
Uh. Huh? Yeah, baby, they got a debit card, a, a Visa with Harry Tubman on the cover. And they're saying, y'all, that the customers, honey, were clamoring for the new car. But they're saying, honey, that um, one United Bank claim to be America's largest black-owned bank is seeing, ex- how do you say, exponentially larger volumes than usual. Exponentially. Uh-huh, you got it. It was public school. Than usual after <laughs> debuting the Harry Tubman car. Now, a lot of people saying, y'all, that it was racist. What's because, racist? Because she's on the cover of a visa. I mean, she looked good. There's nothing racist What's about it. You can put whoever. You put Minnie Mouse on the cover of your yes, visa. And they have. You can put whoever. But it's nice to put her on there. But why they got the, got her throwing up the Wakanda sign? I uh, know. The, the man world man. love Black Panther. Uh, oh, we yeah. love Black okay, Panther. But you can't mix that up with Harry yeah. Tubman. Now. They got her <laughs> throwing know. up the Wakanda <laughs> sign. Now. She didn't know nothing about now, it. Now, Harry, you seen the movie? <laughs> no, thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thing, Lord. I can't. And I don't like the way they got her mouth pooched out. Don't do that. Thin. That's yeah. cheekbones. Yeah. yeah. We just got to pray, though. Yeah. Where's the respect? <laughs> We're going to respect Miss Tubman. All right. The color today is one of my favorite colors. My color today, y'all, is puff cake. On the high end, you say puff cake. And on the lawn, you say beautiful yellow. That's your color for the day, Erica. And we got Erica Campbell in the building. Yeah. 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 What's up, good people? Let, let everybody know real quick what you're working on and how can you be reached. You can follow me at I'm Erica Campbell. I have new music coming out in June. I'm back on yeah. Sunday Best as a judge. And I'm oh. releasing um, my new book, More Than Pretty Girls, for young girls from 18 and under. There it is. Y'all yeah. Erica Campbell in the building. Yeah. Coming up next. The Rick and Smiley Morning Show. It's the front page news. It's what's trending now. All right, y'all. Rick and Smiley Morning Show. When y'all make some noise, we got yeah. Tweet and Meet in here. Man, it is I. We are broadcasting live from the Ricky Smiley Studios, Reach Media. Hey, listen, man. So, this is crazy. Y'all, y'all, y'all can hear me, right? Here we go. A national debate has started after an airline passenger filmed a video of a man punching the back of her seat several times because she reclined during the flight, and uh, it's it's started a whole debate because some people feel like you shouldn't let your seat back. Okay, if the seat wasn't meant to let back, then why do they recline? Now, in the guy, now this is just me. Let's go through this thing. Now, I'm, now in this point, everybody gonna miss. And nobody talked about this point. <clears throat> in the video, the guy who was punching the seat was sitting in the last seat of first class, and his seat could not recline. So if his seat can't recline and then she reclined, because when somebody reclined in front of you, then you recline to create space. Right. But his seat could not recline. That's not her fault. So not. It's okay. Not. So that, that's the argument. That, yeah. that's, that's not her fault. Not. That's right. Her okay. seat reclines, so she's going to recline and get comfortable. All right. Here's another question. Should she turn around uh, and say, hey, uh, are you comfortable? Because sometimes no. I turn around. And just, just out of courtesy, mm-hmm. I just kind of turn around and either look and make sure they're okay, you know what I'm saying, and just use a little bit of sensibility and sensitivity. I just somebody in my area. Now, well, we understand all that, but no. She, I mean, Ricky, if you bought a first-class seat, and you should have told him, well, I don't want to sit at the end or in the last first-class mm-hmm. seat because mm-hmm. it doesn't recline. That's not that woman's fault. She paid her money for that ticket. She was tired, and she wanted to relax. Even so what, she reclined. What are your thoughts? Absolutely. If you want to recline your seat, it shouldn't be my job to make sure that the seat is not in your lap. It should be the airline's job to make sure that the, when the seats recline, there's still enough room for the passenger behind. That's It's not not courteous not to ask the person behind you, am I in your way? All right, y'all. This same as being bought by Allstate. That's right. With an Allstate agent, you can get a local expert and help finding the best coverage for you. Plus, when you bundle home and auto, you can save. So call your local Allstate agent today. Are you in good hands? All right, uh, love, what's your name? Where are you from? My name is Sherelle Evans-Jones, and I think um, I'm with Eva on this. If the airlines stop putting 50 million seats in the plane trying to maximize profits, they the one that's the problem because oh. you should be able to let your seat back a little bit, and it ought not to be a problem. All right, all right we're going to get a difference of opinion. I think everybody kind of agree. Anybody uh, disagree with any of this? Everybody thinking the same thing. <laughs> Damn, freaks them out of the morning show. All right, y'all, Rick's Mind the Morning Show, man. The phone lines are blowing up, man. So listen, if you're just waking up, man, a lot of stuff going on. We got a, we got beef going on. Everybody got different opinions about the uh, situation. Uh, an airline passenger filmed a video of a man punching the back of her seat several times because she reclined during the flight. And she's thinking about pressing assault charges. She should. Speaking to the mic. She absolutely should press assault charges. People have gotten way outrageous about what they think they are entitled to. She right. bought her ticket. 
She's sitting in her seat. It's reclining, and it is what it is. And uh, and Wendy Williams, her name is Wendy Williams, and she was traveling from New Orleans to Charlotte uh, on American Airlines, uh, American Airlines. Her name is Wendy Williams. Yeah, yeah. She was the white one. Mm-hmm. The what? The white Wendy. <laughs> <laughs> but if that was the black Wendy, what? If that would have been a black, ain't no way in hell. That one man would have been punching me in the back of that dog on see honey. You know, honey, a woman of African descent would have turned around and cursed him out, number one, yes. and then probably started fighting him. You don't just do that. And she just laying up there, just resting like it's nothing happened. Right. I would have cursed him out. Hell, say, so you son of a. Hmm? Oh, well, don't say it, Gary. <laughs> Sir, what is your name again? Oh, my name is Carl. Carl Lane. Carl Lane. And, and what is your opinion? Well, I believe even if I reclined, you don't go back and you know, punch in the back of my chair. Right, you know, that's the problem. And and if they if, if they would have speak louder to anybody, if they would have did that, what would have happened? Well, we would have uh, settled that straight in the aisle. Oh, oh, oh. oh. you you would have got his eye with it. Hand, <laughs> you put them hand. You got them hand. We ready. But Carl, do you have those hands though? I got them skills. Oh, ah. <laughs> that right. The now, phone lines are blowing up. Eight six six nine. Ricky, let's go to the phone. Good morning. The lady should be able to recline, but if I was the man, hold up, hold up now. Uh, you on my knees, so I get both sides. She could have had the courtesy to move her seat up a little bit. She didn't have to be a jerk and keep her seat back. Um, it's not space. It's just being a human being and being sensible. I would uh, be punching the back of the seat. I feel like if it's in your space, then you got more. It's right, it's right there, so you might as well push it out the way the best way you can. I disagree because uh, we all know that the seats already are tight. Oh, yeah, okay. Y'all, hey, so I, we got everybody's opinion. If you want to hit us up, you can go to our Facebook page. Uh, hit us up, uh, uh, Ricky Smiley uh, Facebook page. All right, y'all, more Ricky Smiley Morning Show coming up next. Yes. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, look, y'all, uh, tweet at me, make some noise. <laughs> Hey, real quick, man, y'all need to uh, get on your phones, and I'll uh, put this number in your phone, 972-980-SAIL. We got a real cruise. I'm talking about our cruise is going to be off the chain. It's getting ready to go out. Uh, Jada, I know you going. Uh, who got a microphone? We got a we got a cordless mic in the studio, hey. but we done, we done came up. Jada, you going on the cruise? You excited about the cruise? I'm excited about the cruise, Rick. Turn the mic up. Is, is it on? I, I I just complimented my boy. See how bad you're be? Look at that thing. Yeah, yeah somebody turned it off. All right, Jay, you right? I'm ready. I'm ready for you're the cruise. About the I'm cruise? excited about the cruise. Right. So the, the inaugural Ricky Smiley cruise. The what? The inaugural. Look at that word they don't get. <laughs> Ricky Smiley oh. cruise. I wouldn't miss your first one to save my life. Right. So I need every everybody in Atlanta. You know what it is. Atlanta is listening. Birmingham is listening. Everybody in Miami. So listen, we're gonna go to Baltimore. We're going to throw a big-ass party in Baltimore the night before the cruise. We're going to eat us some crab cake. We're going to get on the boat, and we're going all the way to Bermuda. And we're going to have a good time, man. We got Rex in Effect. We got Teddy Riley. We got uh, Confunction. Black Street. Black Street. Comedy shows. Comedy shows. Comedian. uh, uh, We got to get comedian Henry Welch. Uh, Rock T. Henry Welch will have you freaking crying. Come on, dog. If you ain't never seen... We went to college together. We went to right. Alabama State together, so we're going to make sure uh, uh, that, that he's on or whatever. I'm going to try my best to get Mike Epps to come right. or, or whatever. <laughs> I'm talking about we're going to have comedians on there. We're going to have a, a, a Stolders from Alabama A&M. We're going to have a Dust of Dawn party. Yeah. A Dust of Dawn. The party going to start at midnight. If you ain't never been at Alabama, I went to Alabama State, but if you ain't never been to Alabama A&M doing homecoming in the gym, I feel like I went to a and because they, that's why I did my first comedy show. They do a 12 to 6 party. Dust to dome. When you leave out of there, man, you be sleepy. I don't even know how they stay up and go to the game. I'm like, what the hell is that for? Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just slept through the game, and then you get there by halftime. You know, so we, we can't miss the band. So we're gonna, we, I'm going to call it the Alabama A&M Dust to Dawn Party. Because that's where we stole it from. The Q's going to be there. The Delta's going to be there. Okay. The AKA's going to be there. Okay. The all Sigma. The D-9. Who else? Uh, Sigma Gamma Rho. Okay. Zeta Phi Beta. Everybody going to be all, all the, the Greeks. Like the Crips, Bloods, Vice Lords, <laughs> City Workers. <laughs> all, everybody. BAQ. Everybody. Y'all don't know about that game. They called Beat Ass Quick. <laughs> all right. So, hey, y'all, coming up, I got a special guest. Y'all ready for my special guest? Yes! 
Coming up next, man, we're going to be talking to the van from my 600-pound life. We're going to be talking to the minivan that take all the people on my 600-pound life down to Houston, Louisville. We're going to be talking to the van. Coming up next, Ricky Smile the Morning Show. I am in all. So I'm in here arguing with the people in the studio because they, they see the cruise schedule, and we have not allocated time for sleep. And that's a problem yeah. because it's party nonstop. So uh, if you sneak and you can sneak and take a cat nap, okay, right? But you have to take your clothes off, lay your clothes down where they won't get wrinkled, and that's what your uh, your underwear and, and your bra and your wife beater is for, <laughs> right? You go and get up under the cover and take a thirty minute cat nap, get back up. So I need y'all to start rehearsing at home and learn how to be soldiers. <laughs> I know we be playing the Temptations now. We don't play uh, the baby no more, but we ain't going to just get old, okay? No. We older, but we still got that party in us. Okay. So they got they got to take a bunch of 30-minute cat naps. A bunch of 30 minutes. So bring, don't bring extra clothes. Bring extra draws and extra bras. <laughs> that's, all, that's all we ask. Uh, right. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we got on the phone. Uh, I don't know if y'all are a fan of my 600-pound life. Um, or whatever I watch that show every Gary you, you yes. don't watch it no more you, cause we don't talk on no more when it come on we used to talk every night it came on right so you done got bougie now so I don't hear from you so now I don't know when it's on oh, w- w- whatever Gary you say whatever <laughs> you want to say but the, the show still come on but uh, we want everybody love my 600 pound life yes. And, uh, yes and we got the van so uh, the van nobody you know we always talk about the people and nobody ever talks about uh, the van so we got uh, we got Eddie y'all give it up y'all give it up for Eddie yeah, yeah. Hey, how you doing? How y'all Eddie, doing? Eddie, how's how you everything doing? going, man? Oh, man, you know, just chugging along, man. You know, getting these people down to Houston, Texas, man. Everybody can't do it. Right. Eddie, I just don't understand, man. Like, uh, so if you, let's, let's just say somebody is going from Dallas, Texas uh, oh. to Houston. Why yeah. does it take them four weeks to get to Houston from Dallas, Texas when it's only a three-hour drive? All that damn stopping at the little food place, is it? <laughs> They be trying to get in their last meal, man. I mean, that's driving me crazy. The van smell like pizza, Cheetos, and honey buns. So I'm getting tired of that, man. Enough to drive you to drink all. <laughs> tired of that, man. You gotta stop it, Popeyes. You gotta stop it. They got nerve enough to get mad if they ain't got no chicken sandwich. <laughs> so Eddie. Yeah. And I mean, what? who did you ride around before you start picking up the people from my 600-pound life, taking them to Houston? Oh, church folks. Right. So you It wasn't no problem, man. You know, you just a few tambourines fall on the floor or something like that, man. Everything is good. Right. So what about the seats in the middle? How, how do you uh, – your seats come in and out, right? Yeah, they got to come in and out. Right. So so what do, they, what do you have, an air mattress? What do they put, an air mattress in? Big air mattress, man. Big right. air mattress. And, and the paramedics come and lay them in the back of the air mattress. Yeah, yeah about 18 paramedics, man. Right. So, so uh, Eddie. Hmm? <laughs> Black name, Eddie. Eddie Vandross. <laughs> Eddie, who you picking up this week? Uh, we got Alfred. Alfred I, I just call him Alfred M. I won't give his last name. Uh-huh. And he's from Toledo, man, and that's going to be a long drive. Right. So, oh, what's the estimated time? Uh, about 20 days. <laughs> Not hours, but days. Days, man, days. So, Eddie, and you know, we were talking about their health. What about your health? How you doing, Eddie? Oh, man, you know, sometimes, man, you know, a lot of my wires start to get frizzled, man, and my shocks, you know, they kind of mess up on me, man, and I just started, uh, I'm going to be honest, man, drinking more motor oil than usual. Right. So, Eddie, we're going to be praying for you, man, and now uh, you're going to check Please. in with us every single week. Please. Yeah. Please. Please. And- and thank you, man, for giving the van some love. Right, because they ever always talk about them, but they ever talk about the van. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. Some hero job, man. Yeah. Hey, man, God bless you, Eddie, man. And uh, if you need anything, man, we'll give you some oil change coupons. If you need some tires or something, Eddie, get at me. Man, thank you, man. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, Eddie. God, hey, Eddie, Eddie we'll, be, we'll, be, we'll be praying for you, man. God, God bless you, Eddie. Thank you, man. I mean, you getting choked up? <laughs> Yeah, I am, man. You know, I'm a, you know, I'm gonna hold it together, man. But thank you, man. All right, y'all, now y'all give it up, y'all give it up yeah. for Eddie, yeah. uh, the minivan from my 600 pound life. We to all the hardworking women and everyday super moms, we got a little something for you. 
Eva's Corner on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. We are, we are live! Sweet and meat is going down, y'all. Ricky Smiley Morning Show. We got a packed house here this morning. Y'all give it up for Eva, Marcel, Pigford. Yeah. Oh, today. Well, Ricky, I, I think that you got the note that we are going to have a real grown conversation this moment. Okay. So, I want to talk to the ladies and the, the fellas, but the ladies about sex. Now, for the ladies that might have just had babies or have gone through something traumatic in their lives, mm -hmm. and you realize that your sex drive is just not what it used to be. Right. You met your piece 10 years ago. Y'all used to have fun daily at least a couple times a week. Now you looking up and it's February. And you yeah. haven't seen him since 2019. Well, since you had the baby. Since you had the baby. And so for me, I just had a new baby and I realized that my libido changed. One of the things libido. that- My libido. Libido is your sex drive. Okay. It is the clinical term no, for sex know. drive. I was supposed to know what that means. The libido. You know what libido mean? Do, do men have libido? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, Y'all really? have a very strong libido. Women find themselves fighting against, you know, keeping it aroused and keeping it up. But men, you guys can lose your libido, too. Something very common and easy for you guys is alcohol. So you go out with your friends and you want to hang out tonight and you're going to see your girl afterward. You have a couple drinks, beer, whiskey, horrible for libido. It kills really? your stamina. Now, you might get initially aroused, but you can't stay aroused, which is what you need to finish up the job. Right. So, men, stay away from alcohol. Now, there are some weird things that I'm sure you guys use every single day that you didn't realize were making your libido dampen. Such, such things as cheese. Most cheese in America derives from cow milk. Cow's milk is loaded with synthetic hormones, which is why we out here drinking almond milk and all that other stuff, but it's still in your cheese. And so you go home after having a nice charcuterie tray at dinner, but you all realize... Right, bitch, wait a minute. You, you gotta say go back. Charcuterie. charcuterie tray. Yes, you got it. What is that? <laughs> charcuterie tray is, is an, an array of meats and cheese, cheeses arranged... <laughs> And adorned with fruit she and for honey. That yeah, she peed for the head, babe. I'm gonna have to write that one down because I can't remember. Little Girl, charcuterie I'm gonna have me tray. A charcuterie tray. But if you notice, like you sit and you eat little cheeses, but then you get home and you're sluggish, you're tired, you're not ready for sexy time, you're ready for sleepy yeah, time. I, you know, so, how, like big ass men eat cheese toast. That's what men like. Cheese toast, put that baby on broil, let that cheese bubble up and it turn black. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what we like. You know what else, Ricky? <laughs> what? Canned soup. What? Canned can soup it is hurts? notoriously high in dietary sodium. So to break it down, one can of like SpaghettiOs has as much sodium as 10 bags of Doritos, Jeez. which leads to elevated pr blood pressure, which diminishes blood flow to your ah. lady and man parts. Okay, so what do help? <laughs> what do help? Yeah. Green vegetables, water, hydration. One of the things that we don't do often is exercise and sleep properly. Right. So if you exercise regularly, not a big situation like 30 minutes a day, but you'll notice that the endorphins that it releases makes you what we know as aroused. Oh, wow. And then the same thing when it comes to sleep. People, a study show that if you have more sleep or you get a full night of sleep the next day, you're more likely and more aroused and willing to do the do. So there are small things you can do, but just because you saw that your libido has diminished, you can work on that and get that old thing. Well, hold on. We got a letter just came in. Uh oh. That's for the mailman. <laughs> Dear Ricky Smiley, I listen to your show every morning, and I was just now listening to Eva's segment. Uh, do the gas station sell rhino pills for women? <laughs> <laughs> Black pills. <laughs> Dear caller, you actually don't need rhino pills. Just stay away from alcohol and fatty foods the night of or before you plan on doing the do, and your next Valentine's Day might be a little more successful. They call a rhino for a reason. <laughs> Yeah, they like them more. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to play. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to play that. I'm sorry. All right, here we go, y'all. Yes, sir. Rock T. Here we go. Joke of the day. Jump up the day! Jump up the day! Y'all make some noise! 
All right, y'all, we got Rock T's Joker today, man. Big shout out to everybody that's listening to us in Philadelphia. Hey, Philly, what up? 100.3 WRNB. Hey, appreciate that. Thank you, Jay Dixon, for the opportunity, big bro. You know I appreciate you and love you. All right, Rock, man, uh, it's got to be funny, or uh, we gonna we might lose our job. <sighs> the other day, Uh-oh. I went out to buy some camouflage pants, mm-hmm. and I couldn't find any. <laughs> <laughs> No, sir. Come on. Come on. No, sir. Come on. Did I miss the joke, Rick? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Come on, start it, start it. <laughs> what, a, what a microphone at? Hold on now. What a mic? Hand me the microphone. Hold on, man. Just, just, just in case, just in case people miss. Let's try it again. Let's try it again. All right, All right go. go ahead. Go ahead, Rock. So, the other day, mm-hmm. I went out to buy some camouflage pants. Right. I couldn't find any. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. I get it. So was it, was because it fun? it's cam- yes, yeah, it's funny. It's camouflage. You can't see. <laughs> well, I know y'all that. Pass the microphone. What, what, pass the microphone. What y'all think? What you think? I can't. Really, I cannot. Pass I the mic. Yeah, yeah. What do you think? It's like a chameleon. It blends in with the. Tell them about it. Pass the mic. What do you think? Wow. Okay, I got. I, I got, get it. I got my daughter that's here from Tennessee State University into the microphone. Uh, the essence. Uh, uh, this mic, you got a mic right in front of it. What do you think? Tell the truth. I think it was a flop. <laughs> Come on, you think, the joke, you think the joke was a flop? It was a flop. <laughs> All right, Gary. It was the build up. He built us up, but he didn't let us go. He built y'all up. <laughs> yes. And, and he didn't. And, and you just. He, uh, 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 and you just stayed in the air. And nothing. <laughs> and nothing. <laughs> All, all that foreplay. Yes, for nothing. For nothing. Even, yes, even okay. for Sheba. I didn't get no foreplay. <laughs> oh, we got Twan to Don. What do you think, Twan? Y'all know I laugh at everything. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we sorry, Rod T. Hey, man. I got my fans, man. Y'all know y'all love it. They appreciate you. We're going to be here all week. Hold on. I got a letter. <laughs> Dear Ricky Smiley. Uh, this is from Kathy Hughes. You all are fired. <laughs> News headlines. Entertainment. Sports. It's the front page on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. All right, y'all. There it is, y'all. 24 minutes after the hour. Hey. We're doing an official Ricky Smiley Morning Show tweet and meet, man. Hey, man. Thank y'all for coming. For real. Y'all having a good time? All right, we got your front page right here. Good morning, Eva. Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, everyone. I'm Eva Marcel, and here are your top news stories. Nearly 400 Americans were quarantined on a cruise ship because of the coronavirus, but they are now back in the States. At least 40 of them tested positive for the virus, but all passengers will remain under quarantine in Texas and California for the next two weeks. In other news, people are demanding that Attorney General William Barr resigned after he handed down a very light prison sentence for one of, that's right, Donald Trump's longtime friends, Roger Stone. A petition was signed by over 1,100 former federal prosecutors and ex-employees of the Justice Department calling for Barr to step down. Mm. In other news, an Alabama lawmaker has introduced a bill that requires men to get a vasectomy within one month of their 50th birthday or after fathering three children whichever one comes first and they have to pay for it well alabama does have the most restrictive abortion ban in the country and a very fantastic lady representative miss Rhonda hollis of birmingham said hey she wanted to send a message that men should not be legislating what women should do with their bodies as we shouldn't do the same thing for men's bodies just get a little taste of our medicine oh so so, wait a minute what rolanda hollis Rhonda. Rolanda. Rolanda Hollis, we went to uh, elementary school together. Miss Rolanda. Yeah, she's a real estate agent and uh, wow, Rolanda, member of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority oh, Incorporated. Okay. Uh, yeah, we we grew up, we, we used to catch the bus together. Yes, that is our state. She did that. Wait a minute. And, and she said what? Well, she sends a message that men should not be legislating what women do with their bodies. So, so she introduced a bill, Ricky. All right, Rolanda. She Rick, introduced a bill saying men at 50 one month after their 50th birthday are required to get a vasectomy or after fathering three children, whichever one comes first. You know what? That's a great point, though. I understand it. Mm -hmm. I understand why she's doing it because you got all the men 
putting the, uh, together legislation where the women should do uh, with their body. So she putting together some legislation for men. Mm, so so we're gonna see how you gonna react, and that's a that starts a great debate and a great conversation and she was absolutely correct just for putting that out there absolutely because because i'm sitting up here like huh mm-hmm. but what's going on you got men uh doing the same thing for women and we go huh? that made, damn rolanda rolanda yeah. doing that and lastly in honor of black history month we celebrate the birthdays of co-founder of the black panther party mr huey p newton and basketball great michael jordan all righty that was a quick look at your headline news for more on what's trending log on to the ricky smiley morning wow. what's popping in sports rock team man let's recap this nba all-star weekend everybody talking about it team lebron beat Team Giannis, man, this is one of the best all-star games in the last 25 oh, years, yeah. dog. That fourth quarter was priceless. It was like they was competing for the NBA Finals, man. Both teams playing for charity. Team LeBron won $400,000 for Chicago Scholars. Team Giannis won $100,000 for the After School Matters. Kawhi Leonard was Cody Bryant All-Star Game MVP. The All-Star Saturday night was off the chain. Three-point shootout by Buddy Hill was the Sacramento Kings champion. The dunk contest is what I want to talk about right now, man. The dunk contest was off the chain. But uh, Aaron Gordon, he got shafted, dog. You think? He should have won. He should have oh, wow. won. Nothing against Derrick Jones from the Miami Heat, man. He won the competition. But Aaron Gordon, man, he jumped over. Who Aaron Gordon play for? He played for Orlando Magic. Okay. And he jumped over 7-foot-5-inch Taco Fall. Yeah, everybody in Orlando listening right now. Come on, man. Y'all feel like your boy was cheated. Aaron Gordon was cheated. Right. He should have won the dunk contest. It is what it is. Other quick moments. Kobe Bryant tribute by Magic Johnson. Jennifer Hudson, she sang that for all we know. Right. Off the chains. Uh, and uh, dedication to Kobe Bryant. And, of course, we got to talk about uh, Chaka Khan's rendition of her, um, yeah, we got it. Rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that's it. That was it. That was yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't do Chaka. Go ahead, Chaka. Uh-huh. Yeah, she did. She did a thing, Doc. Gary, Gary, did you enjoy it? I enjoyed it. I mean, I mean, I want to hear her sing every day. I mean, it, it was, uh, you know, in the words of Diana Ross, every time I hear it, I think of a symphony. Right. A tender melody. <laughs> you are lying. <laughs> Gary, stop. <laughs> Gary, stop. <laughs> All right, there it is, y'all. All right, 29, 29 minutes after the hour, y'all. Church in 60 seconds with Pastor Fred up next. Yeah. 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 It's about the morning show.